Hey everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Elgoo Neptune 2S and a bunch of different things that I've 3D printed on the machine and why you should consider picking one up for yourself. So this is the Elgoo Neptune 2S and it might look like your standard Elgoo Neptune 2, which by the way, I absolutely love. I own six of those now and primarily run them 24-7 for my Etsy orders that I sell over there. But what Elgu has done is looked at some of the upgrades that the community has been applying to their Neptune 2s and bundled that together in one new product offering called the Neptune 2S. And what I really like about this machine is not only does it print amazing, which is probably the most important thing, but it's also gonna save you a little bit of money compared to buying all the individual upgrade components yourself and applying that to your standard Neptune 2. And the actual setup process still only takes about 20 minutes to get up and running like the standard Neptune 2. The assembly process is more or less the exact same. The first thing that you might notice about the printer is that it has a different build plate than the standard Neptune 2. Comes with this aluminum PEI sheet that has a textured side and a completely smooth side, and it comes with a magnetic base as well, already preloaded on this, so you don't need to use any clips or anything like that. And then you can just take the build plate straight off and flex your prints once they're finished printing. The standard build plate that comes with the Neptune 2 is nice, but it's not a magnetic build plate, and it has this build tack like surface, which prints stick really well to, maybe almost too good, and actually Maker's Muse has turned me on to the idea of actually printing on the back side of the build plate. If you have a Neptune 2, flip the build plate over and print on this blank side here. Just clean it with a little bit of IPA and you're good to go and it sticks so well. But I have to say the new Neptune 2S magnetic PEI build plate surface here works amazing. I'm using the texture build plate surface. I didn't clean this. I just took it straight out of the box and started printing on it after leveling and it's been working amazing. I've been getting some beautiful print adhesion on this. The first layer prints look all amazing. I've pretty much had, I don't think I've had any print failures on this machine so far, which is just incredible. I also haven't printed anything yet on the completely smooth side. I've just been using the textured size because it's been working so well for me. Another thing you notice right off the bat is that the printer comes with these red aluminum bed leveling wheels that make bed leveling so much easier than the standard plastic wheels that come on the Neptune 2. Uh, this is typically, I think, like a $10 upgrade that you would individually buy for your machine if you wanted to do that. It also comes with better springs here for the bed leveling process as well. The Neptune 2S also comes with the dual gear extruder mechanism along with an upgraded PTFE tube. The Neptune 2S also comes with a lot of the other standard things that are on the Neptune 2, like the silent board, the filament runout sensor, and the touchscreen interface, to name a few. So the first thing I did was run a quick test print. This is a calibration cube by Chuck Helbick here over on YouTube that you can find on multiple different sites. I printed this with some of the Jesse PLA. This is actually the 3D Printing Nerd Vanilla Bean Ice Cream PLA, and I love the look of this filament. I have to say, this might be one of the best looking calibration cubes that I've ever 3D printed. Next up, I went and printed off this tool holder for the Neptune 2 and it takes about one hour to print and if you end up getting the Neptune 2, the Neptune 2S, I highly recommend printing that file. Again, it only takes an hour to print. Minimal support is needed for it and it holds all of the tools that come with the printer in one convenient location so that you don't lose those tools. Using the same vanilla bean ice cream, I went off and printed this nine hour Harley Quinn bust by Eastman. This turned out amazing. It was a 0.2 millimeter layer height. That's pretty much my go-to for all of the prints that I'm gonna be showing here is at 0.2 millimeter layer height. And I think I only did 10% or 8% infill on this at uh, 50 millimeters per second print speed. And one beautiful thing about Eastman's files is that they rarely require supports. And if I remember correctly, this also did not need any supports. I then went and put in some of this new Ziltec Silk Rainbow PLA and was really excited to start this next print because it's something that I've been wanting to print for a very long time now. And it's this Desert Kiss Dice Tower. You've probably seen this over on Reddit or on Facebook or in a million other places. This is a, an extremely popular and free file that you can run off and download. This was a 25 hour print. Again, no supports needed. I printed this at 0.2 millimeter layer height and I think I did 10 or 20% infill for this print, and again at 50 millimeters per second speed. Not sure what I was thinking. I was intending on painting this, but using the rainbow filament here, there's no way I'm gonna paint over this. It just looks way too cool. So I do need to run off and print another one of these here soon so that I can actually go through the process of weathering and painting it. And yes, it actually works with dice as well. 
I've also printed a good number of Loki crowns off of this printer, and these might be some of the finest looking Loki crowns that I've printed so far. And I honestly wished all of my standard Neptune 2s were the Neptune 2Ss at this point. If you follow me over on TikTok, you'll probably have seen this post that blew up over there printing the Santa Cruz logo that was designed and available over on Colts 3D that you can download and print. This did require supports and it was only about an eight hour print for both the hand and the tongue all here on the Neptune 2S. This is something that I would typically print on a resin 3D printer just because of the amount of detail that's on the file, but it looks amazing here on the Neptune 2S. Really impressed with this. And finally, I printed this 11 hour thing hand from the Adams family. That's a free file that you can download and print off of Prusa printers. And it's just, again, one of these amazing files. Zero supports needed. I was a little shocked to see how well it printed with the crazy overhangs as well and printed it with this Graft Milk Matte PLA. I absolutely love this filament, and if you haven't already, I would highly recommend checking that out. But I'll have links to all of the files that I printed here down below in the video description. Also, if you're interested in picking up the Elgu Neptune 2S, I'll have links down below for that. I wanted to say a big thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in any of the Elgu products that I feature in today's video or any of my other videos, like the Elgu Mars or the Elgu Saturn, or the standard Neptune, you can find links down below for those printers. Also, if you have a Neptune 2 and you're interested in the individual upgrades for the Neptune 2S, I'll have links down below where you can find those. I'm gonna be going through the process of individually upgrading all of my standard Neptune 2s with these add-ons here so that they can be in line with the Neptune 2S. But the big benefit here is that the Neptune 2S is one bundled package that will end up saving you a good chunk of money there, about 20 bucks or more over buying the individual components yourself. Well, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Elgu Neptune 2S and if it's something that you'd be interested in picking up for yourself. I know I'm absolutely in love with this printer. Thanks again to Elgu for sponsoring today's video and a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support of me making videos here on the channel. If you're interested in finding out more information like what my settings are that I use for the Neptune 2 and the Neptune 2S, you can find out more information in my Patreon. Hey, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.